All right. Uh, let's kick things off, though, by going over the main card. And first off, uh, your first fight is going to be Mackenzie Dern versus Hannah Cyphers. And this is – whenever you think about Mackenzie Dern, you're instantly going to jump to jiu-jitsu because it's the most – like impressive part of her game and she's so credentialed i mean multiple time world champion right both gi and no gi um and just it's evident that when she gets girls to the ground that they are at a very very <laughs> they're at a huge disadvantage like it, it, she's on a she's on another level with her jiu-jitsu like her paths to the back and just her ability to sink things in on you it's it's next level, man. And, you know, but in her last fight, she ran into Amanda Hebos. And Amanda Hebos is a very good – she's got some length on uh, – she's got some length on Mackenzie, and she was able to kind of dot her up at range and stuff. And then, like, you know, Mackenzie wasn't able to have as much success on the ground. And that's because Hebos is also a, a, a very good jiu-jitsu practitioner. And what worries me about this matchup against Hannah Cyphers is that I think Hannah is going to lack that ground experience that's going to – it, it, it's it's like okay Mackenzie you, the, the thing you have to worry about with Mackenzie Dern is that she also has serious power in her hands like if you look at her yes she got a rear naked choke over Amanda Cooper but if you look at what started it off uh it was a punch landed by Mackenzie Dern that dropped Amanda and, and, and led to the submission so she's definitely got power in her hands it's not like her striking might not be the most technical thing you've ever seen you know what I mean you're going to be able to pick out flaws in it but she's capable of hitting you and dropping you and I just think that, like, in these lighter weight classes, I think Hannah Cyphers is going to lack that. Like, she might be able to piece Mackenzie Dern up uh, in, like, certain situations. Like, if she gets into some dirty boxing exchanges, she might be able to land some shots there and stuff. But I don't think she's going to have that, like, game-changing power that's going to really rock Mackenzie. Um, I think Mackenzie's going to have the advantage in the power department, and I think she's going to be pretty confident in that. And that's going to let her kind of stand and bang with Hannah. And... I think that, like, like I said, Hannah's going to have to get into some, like, she's going to have to close the distance against Mackenzie to, and try to land these shots, right? Um, I just think that Hannah's advantage, if anything, she has an advantage in boxing. But I just think that the way she's going to have to attack Mackenzie is going to lead to Mackenzie taking her down and submitting her at some point. And once it gets there, like, I think Mackenzie's going to be competent enough on the feet to hang with Hannah, but once it goes to the ground it's just a completely different it's a completely different fight i don't think hannah's going to be able to do anything to stop mckenzie from doing what she wants to do i think mckenzie will pick up a submission in the first round in this fight hannah's a tough a tough girl man and like she's got some really good wins on her record and like i said she does have solid boxing but i just think in her like mckenzie is gonna present her with power and she's going to be able to strike as well and when hannah starts overextending in these striking combinations and just like you know trying to connect with her it's going to open up the takedown for mckenzie it's going to be there at some point and i think once it gets there it's going to be a clear advantage for mckenzie dern i'm going first round submission maybe second but i do think mckenzie dern's going to going to get hannah cyphers out of there